So Eris, what are you gonna share with us today? Well, as you may know, I just got back from Chiapas where I went with Sandeep for a few days, which is a state in Mexico. It's beautiful. And one thing we saw, which I loved, was this place called Agua Azul, which is a waterfall. And it's like all along the side of the waterfall, as you're like walking up, there's vendors selling pretty much anything you could ever imagine, like glow-in-the-dark shirts, hot chocolate, tortillas, tacos, jewelry, like everything. But I think the most exciting thing of that whole day was this lady selling a table full of dun, dun, this. Dun. This is like my, my most exciting moment of 2022, probably. What? Well, like, I can vouch for that. This is something she's been dying to see. And it made my year. Okay. So. Share. This Do is tell. A, what is it? This is a cacao pot. And I had seen cacao pots growing on trees. And I, we've been teaching about them for years, but I had never actually like tried one. So when I saw them for sale on the table, I was really, really, really excited. I almost like screamed in excitement, which for me, that's like pretty, you know, that's pretty you know, extreme. So we should, we should back up. We did, we've seen them growing on trees in Puerto Rico. And what was, I thought was really cool is that they grow right on the trunk of trees. And like on one tree, there can be totally different colored ones. And some get as big as footballs. Okay. This one's kind of like, I guess like a medium sized one. You had ones that were smaller and ones that were bigger too. So Sandy got me one. The lady was like, do you want to try it right now? And I was like, okay. So she took it and somehow like ripped it open with her hands. I don't know how she did that. And then we tried it and it was like, that was a great day. So I'm going to try and show you what's inside here. I don't think this is like the way people cut open cacao pods, but let me like try. And um, I don't know how to rip it open with my hands. Maybe one day I'll get to that. And Chiapas is a lot colder than the Yucatan, so cacao does well there. Cacao so well. and coffee. I think they're the, I was going to say the headquarters. Look, ready? Oh, yeah, okay. Oh. So in here, there's this like gelatinous y, whitish kind of stuff. Where we say it's like, like kind this. of pulpy, goopy. I don't know if you can really get the full effect on the video. And it feels kind of like, I feel it. It feels kind of like soft, almost like slimy. Almost kind of like if you if you imagine feels, like a leaf sheet, the inside of a Yeah, leaf. It, feel, it does feel like a leaf. It feels, I would say it feels unpleasant. Yeah. <laughs> so it kind of tastes like a sour like peach, the white stuff. And then inside like those brown things, those are the cacao like um, beans that become cacao nibs or cacao um, powder. And if you didn't know, cacao is just, just like the more like raw, you know, like the natural form of cocoa. So it's like cacao first, like this. And they process it, like heat it up and just get rid of, you know, kill some of the nutrients, turning it into cocoa. But it all comes from cacao. So if you want the health benefits, should you be drinking cocoa or eating cacao? Cacao is definitely much better for you. And this is another smaller pot from Chiapa. So see, it looks like this. And then like the whole like, the whole like thing comes out. And Lenny said, usually people just like kind of chew on the white stuff and spit out the seeds and then dry the seeds and use them, make them into like powder or cacao nibs or whatever, or plant them, so. So finally, finally you were able to cut open your own cacao pod after all these years of teaching about it. It was a great moment. <laughs> so this is cacao.